What is succession? In this brief video, we will find out what succession is and how it has formed the Oldergar habitat of Hoveton Great Broad. Succession is where one plant community changes its environment, which then leads to a new plant community coming in and taking over. The fancy term for a succession that starts in water is a hydrosphere. The hydro part refers to water. Stage 1. Shallow water. Areas of shallow open water have submerged plants growing in them. The roots of plants, like water lilies, help trap sediment. This sediment builds up over time, making the water more and more shallow. Stage 2. Swamp. As the water becomes shallower, plants like sedge and reeds start to colonise. These slow the water and trap more sediment. And when they die back and rot, it raises the soil level once again. This swampy terrain is ideal for aquatic insects and animals, like tadpoles. Stage 3. Marsh or Fen Now the soil is at surface level, but is still heavily waterlogged. We start to see flowering plants that thrive in these conditions, like marsh marigold and yellow flag. This habitat supports a variety of insects, which, in turn, supports other animals, such as birds. Stage 4. Older Car Wetland pioneer trees start to appear, such as alder and willow. The habitat has now become older car. The older trees provide shade for new trees and plants to grow, as well as a variety of different habitats for many species of fungi, birds, mammals and insects. Stage 5. Woodland Slow-growing trees like oak and beech can now grow and eventually make a woodland. However, this is prevented at Hoveton Great Broad by management because mature older car is a rare habitat. In fact, all this footage, bar the woodland, was taken from Hoveton Great Broad, and even though it is mostly older car, it contains a mosaic of all these habitats, providing a home for a diverse range of plants and animals.